a Jeopardy! champion has been spotted recently rocking some winning tattoos, but fans didn't see them when she was competing. Holly Hassel, who inked out a six-day champion on last Wednesday's episode, told all about why she covered up her tattoos on stage. Holly is an English professor from Fargo, North Dakota, who may have only won one Jeopardy! episode, but she won serious bragging rights along the way. She beat six-day champ Suresh Krishnan after he had earned $98,000 and a ticket for September's Ken Hosted Tournament of Champions. Holly lost one game later and though she couldn't turn her win into a streak, she came away with other bragging rights as well. She posted to Twitter after her appearance aired last week that she may be the most tatted contestant ever. Holly wrote, Being on hashtag Jeopardy was amazing. Truly the most amazing day of my life. I may not be a super champ, but I think maybe I could qualify for some kind of most tattooed Jeopardy. Champion, is that a thing? Because I'd like to run for that. In the attached photo, Holly flashed a winning smile in a crop top, revealing that her arms are completely covered in tattoos. A shark emerged from an aquatic scene on her right arm sleeve and a triangular explosion of patterns could be seen on her left arm sleeve. Holly's tweet scored 700 likes, and fans were blown away since the contestant's tattoos weren't visible when she competed. One former champion wrote, Strong endorsement for the tattoos of Jeopardy wall calendar. I wish you could have competed with this shirt on, wrote another. Holly also shared a photo showing her entire back is an Alice in Wonderland scene, which she joked on Twitter made missing a literary clue about the character her most embarrassing miss. That is a concern. Holly exclusively told the U.S., Sun that while she wouldn't have had any hesitation about flashing her incredible ink on stage, she covered up because of Jeopardy. Rules. They kind of don't want you to. She said, they're worried about copyright. That is a concern if you have something on your body that's copyrighted that that's going to be a violation of something. On one of my arms is all original art, but on the other arm sleeve there's a couple of Dr. Seuss designs and the rest are Dr. Seuss inspired. So I think they probably wouldn't have violated anything. But also the studio is really cold. So they were like, you're going to want your jacket on. Lydia R A L O Y amazing. Holly also told the U.S. son about the meaning behind her ink and that her literary references don't stop there. You'll see from the pictures that I also have my love of sharks as part of my overall tattoo design philosophy, probably from being a Gen Zer who watched Jaws too early. I also have on each side of my calves three of the monsters from Where the Wild Things Are by Morris Sendak, which was my absolute favorite book as a kid. I like that the art and illustrations of children's books allow me to have an intersection between my enthusiasm for body art and my professional love of writing and reading.